Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Scary Asylum by Coco Wyo. It's a new one that came out just a few days ago. Um, I will quick to purchase it and it has just arrived today so I will do a flip. If this is all your information. The title page. And then these are your images. Just like in the, in the other books, there's a black binder bit down there. So if you pull them out, it's easier to, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, all pages are the same. There's no change in paper quality. But I still advise putting something underneath just in case they bleed through. As you can see, there's no problems with the line work. This would be a fantastic colouring book for my uh, aura group which I will pop a link in description for you if you're wondering what the link is where the link will be or the description is uh, just underneath the video at this corner somewhere there's a little arrow click on that it'll drop box the um, description box and then you can click on the link from there uh, and it'll give you a link to my horror colouring group as long as well as a crook crook colouring group that I've also done. It'd be great to see everybody's pieces over there. A lot of these remind me of uh, some games like Silent Hill, Last of Us. Um, really cool. If you're going to use felt tips and marker pens, I would advise putting something underneath. Because I don't want to chance, you to chance it and end up ruining the page that's on the other side. Also, I've noticed with these type of books with black backing, um, put a blank piece of paper on, under a few of the pages as well. Because if you're a heavy under colourist like me, when you're pressing on uh, the paper, whatever the image is at this side and the black backing at this side it prints onto this picture as well and you have to sit there rubbing it out and sometimes it doesn't always come out so i do advise putting some plain white paper or card underneath because of that issue as well so maybe the black backing is good for some things but not for others it's more of a problem with people such as me that has um, a really bad heavy hand for colouring. It was just something I noticed for colouring the uh, Crook Crook books the other day. I'm, I'm really heavy handed. I don't know what you're thinking up to now, but... It's still another great book to add to your collection if you're already collecting most of Coco's books. Mine's majority are all these type of books. I'll do I do get the odd ones that aren't horror though. Getting near end now. Then yeah, other books and leave a review, a couple of blank pages and then that's back at book. Again you get a few images so you get to see what's inside, a bit about uh, Coco Wire and that's that book flipped. I know everybody's been waiting for it to be flipped so <laughs> I've, I've done it. <laughs> If you enjoyed this, thumbs it up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. Click that notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload any new content. If there's anything you want me to review or flip through, just drop me a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.